This is on a 60 cent bet, everybody. A 60 cent bet. Right? 60 cents? Yeah, see? Take the money and run. I want, I, okay. So I'm taking 50. You said half. Okay. Get the cash out. You can do what you want. I'll get the cash. You can do what you want. That's okay. So well, it was mine. So 50 for you? Yeah, 50 for me. So all I made was 10 bucks. All right. Yeah, that was a, a little less than two weeks ago. Uh, let me explain what happened. And uh, this was at the uh, Seminole Coconut Creek Casino here in Florida. Uh, what happened was, is that um, about a little over a year ago, my wife got a traffic ticket, one of those red light ca traffic tickets, the camera, the camera, red light camera traffic tickets. And uh, if anybody ever got a, a red light camera uh, traffic ticket, you really hate it because it's it's done by a camera. And it was like for a little over 150 bucks. She was really upset. So then she had this idea, which I thought was incredibly stupid. But she had the idea of going to the Seminole Coconut Creek Casino to the slot machines and win back. Uh, earn the money uh, for the traffic ticket. In other words, earn $150. And I said, you know what? That's ridiculous. You don't you don't go to a casino to earn money for to pay for a traffic ticket. Chances are you're going to lose that amount of money. But you know, and I had a big argument. Uh, long story short, she went with a friend of hers. Next, and it turned out she won about $450. So. She paid for the traffic ticket and had $300 on top of that. So she always has this idea now that if she has some bill to pay or any kind of bill, just go to a casino and earn it on a slot machine, which I still think is ridiculous. But here's what happened. So just under two weeks ago, we went to Rubio's and we had a dinner there with a friend of ours and with margaritas. And by the way, I know they're famous for their fish tacos, but I highly recommend their shrimp burritos. Oh my God, it is so good. Okay, so anyway, the bill came to officially uh, about a little over 47 bucks. But I guess what? As you're probably watching my videos, I use discounted gift cards. And I had 50% off Rubio's discards, the gift cards. So it cost me 23 and change. So my wife said to me, she says, hey, you know what? We're right near the Coconut Creek Casino. Why don't we go there and, and, and we could earn the money back for the, for the, for the meal. And I says, listen, it's, it was only like 23 something. It's not that big of a deal. But you know what? She's the type, she loves the casino. She loves the slot machines. Believe me, she could spend her life there sitting on a uh, uh, chair in front of a slot machine. So she's begging me, begging me. Finally, I said, oh, okay, okay. I'm not really liking this at all because I'm figuring I'm going to lose a lot more than the, the, what the cost of a meal is. So we go in and we sit down at a slot machine, the same one you just saw there. And real quickly, lost. I put 20 bucks in. Pretty soon that was gone. Uh, finally, very reluctantly, I put one final $20 in. We're down to under $2. But then we started rising again. She started rising again. A little over 17 bucks, and then she hit free, free spins. And now the third, uh, which that's where this picks up, where it's the tail end of it. I whipped my cell phone out, and you saw what happened. Uh, it won over a hundred dollars. So when that was over, I said to myself, Wow, this is pretty not bad. So I'm, I cashed out, I immediately cashed it out. And I said, okay, we can, we're can. we done. We're, I, I got the $23 covered and maybe another $50 on top of that. But she was begging me. I said, okay, one final $20. I gave her another $20. And very quickly, she won two free spins. But this time, I was a little bit disappointed. As you'll see in this uh, next video, yeah, we won. But you know what? Take a look what happened. I mean, you win. You, you get spoiled when you had a nice run like before. 
And by the way, these are all pretty much on 60 cent bets. So let's take a look and see uh, the next time we won. No, 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 no! Oh! Lousy 900. Slime box. Come on, I'm axing, I'm axing next time. Max is where the money Max is the money. Alright, so 900. Good beat. Okay, hit it again. Maxi, 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 Max. Oh, 900 again. Oh, minor. No, minor. I don't know if minor is better than 900. We'll see. Okay, no great shakes. I, I, I'll tell you, I was kind of disappointed in the, the winnings there. Two minor, a uh, couple of minors, you know, and and the ones before, uh, uh, the first time on the first spin you saw, uh, first scene you saw, I had a maxi on there. It was a nice, a nice payday on that. But then I cashed out on this, and of course my wife says one more. I feel lucky. I feel lucky. We got to do it. We got to do it. I says okay, okay, twenty bucks, and that's it. So I put 20 in, and fairly quickly, to my surprise, we got something called slash cash, slash the cash. And as you can see, I had absolutely no idea what the hell this is all about. You know, how does this work? I mean, we didn't understand these bags of cash are coming down, and we're supposed to do something, but we're not sure what. You know, it says slash the cash, but why, why do you slash the cash? Well, fortunately, as you'll see, uh, some kind lady right near us. She showed us how to do it But the funny thing is is even though I was able to do it. I don't know. There was something about my wife's fingers They they have some sort of weird electrostatic charge in there It, it just no matter how often she tried she couldn't slash the cash I, I can't explain that but I was had no problem doing it. That was a lot of fun. I, I like that slash the cash Guess it. Wait, 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 wait. So go ahead. No, walk away. Walk it, I don't know what that means by slice the bag. I, they're just. I put I saw one. No, leave it, leave it, leave it alone. No, no, here. No. What? Swipe the bag. Okay. Like this? Wait the bag. Yeah. Wait to the bag. Swipe the bag. The bag. The bag. When the bag comes down. There. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Ah, okay. So There, you gotta slike it like that. <laughs> Who knew they. Yeah, like that. Like that, 
See, I'm doing my hair. Okay. Just got to touch the bag. Some of them not going to give me the Okay, so after that, this was definite. I cashed out, to, uh, take the money and run. That was my, that's my attitude. Long story short, that, uh, that slot machine ended up paying for the meal we had, plus we had about an extra hundred bucks on top of that. So, of course, now my wife wants to go, she's, ever since that, she's been badgering me for this bill, for that bill. We, all we gotta do is go to the casino and it'll take care of this bill and that bill. No, it doesn't work that way. But however, I will tell you, uh, and I'll do a video on it, and I think in a couple of weeks, the uh, Hard Rock, uh, Seminole Hard Rock Casino here in Hollywood, Florida, is going to uh, open their guitar hotel and they're gonna have these giant beams going up into the sky, colored beams several, from the guitar. And you're supposed to be able to see it from as far away as Miami Beach. So I'll definitely be there to show that. But, you know, and that's all I really want to do. But knowing my wife, I, I can guarantee it since we're there, she's going to force us into the casino. So hopefully I'll have some happy news from the slot machine uh, when I do that video. But at the very least, you're going to see that. Um, like I say, it's a really amazing. Miami Beach is over 20 miles away. And to be able to see that in the air... Those have to be some pretty powerful beams. So, see you later, and good luck on the slots.